hello world welcome back to my channel by now i'm sure you are you're able to make this grand square so i'm going to use a 4.0 mm hook for this work okay so always make sure that you end your uh, granny square with the color that you're going to use to join the pieces together so i'm going to use black to join the pieces so i've ended my granny squares with black all right so let's move on so first of all you you take one granny square then you're going to start from the corner okay so you make a single crochet then you make another single crochet into the same stitch row to keep the work piece to keep the um yarn in place then in each of the stitch rows that you have at the side you make a single crochet okay so we are making single crochet until we get to the other corner and then we join the next piece to it okay so this is our work this is the next um, granny square so you join it by making a single crochet like this Okay, so you make single crochet throughout. So this is how you are going to do it. Joining with other pieces of ground square until it is um, long enough to... Um, it's long enough so that's when you fold it into two, you are able to put it around your best. Okay. So I'm joining six pieces of this granny square. Remind, mind you, any type of granny square, any design that you want or work will for this widget. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell, give me a like, comment below, share the video, and make sure you also watch my adverts. Okay, because that's what something that's what will help me to get something. Okay, so single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. All right, so half six. So when I fold it like this, it is um, it will fit well. Okay, so the next uh, I'm going to make single crochet to join them okay so I have something like this yeah then I'm going to go around again with my single crochets okay so I'm making another row of single crochets just to help keep my work in place Right, so when you're done, you just um, fix your yarn, tie it very well, then you cut off the excess like this. 
Okay. So now let's um, seal up the middle parts. I'll join the other side of the granny squeeze together. And this one you're going to use need your thread and your needle for it. And make sure you do the joining from the inside. Okay, so do the joining from the negative parts of your work. So you turn your work, then you do your joining like us I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to seal up all these places. This is the simplest top you can ever make. All you need is just your granny squeeze. That's it. Okay, so you seal it up. Then you come to this place too. You do the seal sealing. And you do for all the other parts as well. Okay, you do for here. The same thing. Then here and then there. Okay. So after sealing all the parts what we have, our first shoe is done. Now let's move on to the second row. So we are going to join the other granny squares to this one. I made um, 12 granny squares in all. So I've done six and I'm going to join the rest of the six together. So I make single crochet at the edge. Then I insert this one like this from the inside of okay, so always join from the negative parts so that the positive little your joining will not be shown on the positive side okay so you make your single crochet single crochet single crochet bye Okay, let's do this one to join this one to this with a single crochet. Okay, so you do that for the rest of the granny squares. Okay. Then when you are done, you seal it. You join the size to the same thing. After finishing everything, this is what I have. Okay, so I'm going to join the size soon to make up with. Okay, so join the down parts, the side of each granny square, just like we did before. Yeah, so after joining this, so you have, you can see that this place is very loose. The top part is very loose and the down is tight. So 
It's a single crochet that will keep it in place. So let's make single crochet at the edge. Just like we did from the beginning. So you are making single crochet two times around it. So two rows of single crochet. So this way we started from, then we'll end here, we'll go around again. And you see that the, it will be like very to tight seam it and it will put your work in place. Okay, so at the end, this is what we have. Okay, so you can put this one on, turn to any parts of your favorites, and you put it on. Okay, this is very easy to make. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video tutorial. Bye. Bye.